In this episode of our Stationeer's Moon Getting Started Survival Guide, we will be tackling the problem of water. Yes, our shelter is built and the uh, electricity is established, we have pressurized environment, so our next need will be water and its refilling. So as you can see, we have a portable tank, the ice crusher, and the water refill station that we have placed in an airlock. Why in an airlock, you might ask? Well, I will come to that later, so stick around and you will see. It's a very handy tip, you're gonna like it. All right, guys, I'm your host, Grumforks, and hope you're enjoying the show. We are preparing to be able to build the solution that you have just seen. Uh, in order to do that, I'm cranking up some iron sheets, and our airlock is here, and everything has been moved. The, obviously, the steel has been smelted, although technically, we don't need it. But, yeah, that happens sometimes. All right, so we are starting to get refills. Let me just change the battery. Yeah, I'm gonna change this battery cell small for the bigger one. Well, not the bigger one, but more fill filled one. Okay, let's go briefly inside. So I show you what I had in mind. First things first, we will need to build on this wall, which means we will need to depressurize the environment or find an interesting hack how not to depressurize. And that's what I'm going here. I'm gonna build a window here. So once I deconstruct this cubicle, uh, I will be able to still retain the pressure. So there we go. The window is constructed. So now, even if I start deconstructing this big uh, cubicle, I will be fully able to work on it and do whatever maintenance necessary, but to ensure that we still have the pressure. So you see, deconstructed and beautiful. <clears throat> so now we can fully start working on the stuff inside. And that also means that I will be conducting the power that will be going all the way in as well. All right, uh, for that to be able to succeed, I will need some cable coils printed by yours truly, electronics printer, and I will need some more base materials for which I'm gonna do an off-camera mining. All right, beautiful. <clears throat> so that being said, Oh, don't you shoot things up, boy. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I think this this will be giving us enough cable coil to be able to conduct the cable all the way inside. And let me just see. I have some materials in the mining belt, so I might as well continue the smelting of this copper. Copper is handy because, well, that's the essence, essence where our cable coil comes from. Yes. Now... All right, and also I need to check that we have all the necessary components. Speaking of which, like we have the, you know, the iron pipes and everything that we need to be able to conduct this. Right, so with that thing being said, let us start building the cable coil network or actually just conducting the cable coil all the way in. We cannot go through the door, so we can go beside the door. There we go. Okay, that will ensure that the power is able to get inside of the airlock. Good. Fine. Power low. Oh, suit power low again. Oh, Jesus, this battery is draining so fast. It's incredible. And that is actually probably because I'm using my lamp. As you can see, tell, I'm using my headlamp. And that's also not the best thing that you want to do. So what I'm thinking I will also want to do, I will want to create a light source. <clears throat> there is actually one guy on my channel, I don't know exactly who it was, but he was selling, I don't like the game because you constantly have to have a light attached to the top of your head and it's not really fun. And I fully agree with you, buddy. I mean, it's not fun if you're having the, the light on top of your head, but nobody says that you have to. So what we're going to do, we're going to construct a portable light, which will be a bigger light source that we will be carrying on our back. And there's two benefits of it. First one is that we will actually get a little bit more light and a little less directed light. And the second one will be is that our, uh, our body suit uh, battery won't drain as fast. So if we go portable light, there we go, we're going to construct it. And it only takes five iron and two copper. So it's really, there's no excuse why you shouldn't be making it. Just to be very, very clear about that. <clears throat> That's one actually very handy tool that I can tell you. And it has saved my life many times over. So 
let's weld this up quickly. All right, we have the power in and there you go. Oh, stop constructing the second one, please. I don't want the second one. Good. And this portable light, it's, it's really handy. I can tell you that much. So if we go and turn off this, for the time being, power is an issue still. It won't be for long. I'm thinking probably in the next episode, once we have dealt with the power, I'm gonna, once we have dealt with the water, I'm gonna be tackling the problem of power generation. I mean, we are generating power and we are living off basically one or two batteries, which is not ideal. Uh, so I want to be, be, and we already smelted steel in the previous episode, so I, I really want to be able to construct a big station-wise battery that will be providing a buffer. So it gets loaded while it's sunny and it's consuming the charge while we're doing stuff, so we no longer have to pay attention to it. Uh, our air tank is almost done, meaning I will need to sooner rather than later be to refill it. So just a second. All right. That's good enough. So for the time being, we do have enough uh, enough oxygen, and uh, we ha let me just take care of this. Okay, so we put here the light. Look at this light, and it works. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach it to my back, and I'm gonna turn off my headlight, and that will make my cam my suit battery last a lot longer. There we go, see? Plenty of light. I mean, I know you say, yeah, ground force, because that's because it's light time, but soon it will be night time and it will be still fun. Right, so let's deconstruct the frame because we don't need it. Oh, the Kraken hits. Okay, move it. Right. So, let's start into constructing the tank, as we mentioned at the beginning. I had a slight detour, sorry about that, guys, but I really wanted you to see the portable light. And this is actually no portable light. There is no directional light and we have plenty of light going with us. So that's one tip that I can give you, which really, really, I feel it's, it's kind of worth it. Okay, so let's place the liquid tank connector and we want to be placing it so that it's facing the wall, at least that the outlet is facing the wall. That looks good enough to me. Okay, let's be placing some pipes. I was actually first thinking of putting the water bottle filter and now we're getting to the tip where I said, oh, let's put it in the airlock. Uh, the airlock is the area that's always accessible to you. Whether you're inside, the airlock will be open and you will be able to come in. Same thing with the, if you're outside, the airlock will be, have its side open towards you. So that's why you want to be building and putting stuff in an airlock such which for the stuff that you need. For example, uh, water, you know, water refill and the power generation. So a charger plus a water bottle filler would be ideal candidates to have in an airlock. <coughs> Sorry. So water bottle filler, we place that the the, the power is coming from the top because as of recently it needs the power which I guess it makes sense so then we're gonna be placing the pipe come on pipe all right and the pipe we're gonna be placing from here downwards to be connected to this bad boy and I will need ultimately the power on this side for the uh, ice crusher, yes. Okay, so let's first connect the water part of the equation. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take you upwards. Not on that side, on that side, perhaps, yeah. We can create something like that. And this is actually a T-junction, mainly because there will be two pipes going. One pipe will be going and connecting to the ice crusher that I'm gonna have just beside it, as you saw in the intro, and the other will be going to the water bottle filler. So those are the two things that we need to keep in mind. And now that I come to think of it, I'm probably gonna need to wall off again this section. Oh boy. All right, <clears throat> let me go to grab the wall. I need to grab a wall and I need to construct the wall on this face again. All right. Will be done. Now I need the iron wall. Let's place it again. Iron window. 
I prefer iron windows as opposed to iron walls because I can still see what I'm doing. So, okay, iron sheets, I have them. <clears throat> there we go. And then we need the glass sheets, which I also have. All right, good enough. So now I can go and cycle to exterior. So we depressurize it and then we need to connect the water part of the equation. So that's why I've put the wrench here. I'm deconstructing this so I can see what I'm doing. And look how nice the lighting is, right? I have enough light even though it's completely dark outside and I'm not consuming my headlights, see? That's what I really wanted to you guys to pick up on. All right, so I have enough pipes to actually create a nice network, so come on. <clears throat> I want to be connecting the pipe and the pipe meter so I can have always the idea of how much pressure I have in the pipe. So we're gonna be placing you that way. Hold on, uh, like this, and I could use, where's the T section? Like that, yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm shooting for. Construct it. Now let's construct the, another pipe. Shall I be placing the straight one? I think I need the straight one, and then we need to place the pipe meter. Okay, pipe meter, just turn it around so I can see the result. Beautiful! I think it's a, overall a nice controlled panel to have. Okay, and now we have five pipes. I think that should be enough. Let me see just quickly. All right. So now I need uh, not the T-junction, just a corner, and the pipes can cross as long as it's at the right angle. Beautiful, and there we go. <clears throat> okay, that leaves one extra pipe, so I don't, I won't have enough to connect the ice crusher, but at least this part of the equation I can consider to be done. All right, good. Overall, I'm happy, and I think we can even start welding up this part of the equation. I will need to construct some more pipes, so. Do I need some iron? Do we have some iron? Come on, give me some iron. <clears throat> okay, copper, gold. Okay, we have some iron, we need copper and gold. Okay, fair enough. I guess I needed to build the ice crusher. Yeah, okay, hold on. Stop, ice crusher. Okay, that's constructed and I need some pipes. Uh, liquid pipe, uh, not insulated, just the regular liquid pipe. There we go, that one, yes. And we have a plenty of iron, so we're just gonna crank it out, and then we'll be able to connect the stuff into the hole. All right. I actually, guys, find sets stationers oddly satisfying. It's one of those games that it's sort of like, you know, meditation. It's chilled, it's nice, it's relaxing, especially if you're on the moon, and especially if you have recently played the Venus, which was stressful as hell. I mean, that planet is the stuff of nightmares, honestly. And I, I, I really admire the guys. I've even got the comment from a guy that plays like real Venus with like the real pressure. Guys, you rock. Seriously. <clears throat> I have no, no other way to put it, so to say. Okay, we have enough pipes. We have this. Do we need... I'm, I'm thinking I would probably need to go and collect and mine some ice, uh, more ice, because I don't have a lot of ice. So I'm going to go quickly mine and then I'm going to come back to you. All right, with some more ores filled. A little bit of iron, a little bit of gold, a little bit of coal, and some ice, obviously. Ice being the white stuff, and we will need to actually be able to fill the water, you know, tank and bottle and all that jazz. So, all right, this will generate some power, which will refill the batteries, hopefully. <clears throat> then we can also put maybe to smelt some iron ore as well. All right, we can actually also weld this thing up. I'm probably gonna have to go inside. Well, uh, you 
power on this thing for a little bit longer because I need the power to be generated. And apparently my light also died. So that's one thing that I need to change. Uh, this light will actually work a lot better when you have when you're able to make bigger batteries And of course if you have steel you can but I don't want to waste my steel just yet There we go Okay, Sun is up so Sun will be charging this to a degree But there's a lot of things to be charged and these solar panels aren't that great and we do consume a lot So that's another thing to consider All right Furnace, can we dump the gold here to be smelted to a gold? Nope, it can't. It can't. Okay, the, the temperature is too subtle. So I'm not gonna yet... Uh, I, I won't bother yet with the furnace. Okay, I was just thinking that we could use the furnace. But we can also use the arc furnace, that's perfectly fine. Alright, so gold I'm gonna be placing up here and let uh, me put the sheets here and let us go weld stuff. Come on, weld this bad boy. So now things are mostly constructed except for the ice crusher component and that's gonna be constructed in real soon. So, alright, ice crusher, we're gonna place it besides this bad boy. Alright, come on. Where is my ice crusher? Okay, yeah, okay, we place here. Yeah, right, we actually need to be wiring this thing away. That's one more thing that I need to consider. So I'm gonna replace a wire here and a wire there. Oh, no, it won't go. It will have to go this way. Told you. All right. Okay, so here we will have a secondary wire going out, which I think it's okay. And we can always place another wire going, let's say, upwards, in case we will need it later on. Alright, good. And now let us continue building the, uh, building the ice crusher. So, ice crusher. There we go. Connect. Okay, oh right, we need to assemble it, it's also half-baked machine, oh boy. Okay, so pipe, we need to connect the pipe here, let's do it. I'm just now thinking, should I curve it or should I leave it straight? I guess it's a real question, so we place it like that and then we place the, come on, liquid pipe straight, good. So now we have connected the liquid piping part of it. We still have the gas pipe going out of it and that's something that we will eventually need to deal with but that's not something that we can fix right now. We do have a small amount of buffer until we can use the ice crusher without having connected the gas pipes. All right, so there we go. Let's go and assemble it. Do we need a screwdriver? No, we need cable coil, okay. Let's place cable coil and that's it. So now I need some additional cable coil to be able to connect this bad boy. And I think I'm gonna cut this cable and I'm gonna be placing a single one here, single straight one. There we go. So it will still work while I curve this one out this one out and take a final cable yes success all right and it seems to be working good now what we need to do is we need to place the ice uh, the water tank on top of it and the good thing is that the ice crusher will also be stabilizing the tank to a degree so there we go let's place a wrench and then we can actually fasten it in place good see we are progressing, haha. -ha. Now, what else we need? We can actually now put in the ice cubes. Filter low. Yeah, I know the filter is low. I just don't care at this point. So, okay, let's uh, see, where is my ice? Ice is in the mining belt, good. Let's turn it on and let's just dump it. Crushing the ice, beautiful, more. Crushing another full stack of ice. 
and now I have to be careful because I don't want the, uh, this machine to blow. So we will need to be connecting the output because right now it has some nitrogen as a consequence of crushing the ice and it's supposed to be connected here. But what that means for us is we can take this water bottle, we can turn it on and it should be working. Whoa, yeah. And you know why it's not working? Because the temperature of the water is not warm enough yet. Hydration critical. Speaking of which. Okay, that just means we need to drink some water. High. Oh, temperature high. But that's because it's 52 degrees inside. Holy moly. If we have oxygen and 52 degrees inside, this thing could blow easily. Oh, I have to be careful not to weld things inside. Okay, good talk. Right, okay, well, I guess we will be resolving the heating problem of the water pipe, but that will be probably gonna do in the one or two episodes further down the line as soon as I fix the heating problem, which seems to be the next waste tank thing. Caution. And the waste tank seems to be full, so I will also need to... And the air tank is being empty because we are up in the heated environment. So yeah, that's something that we will be probably fixing in the next episode. We're gonna print a new canister and we're just gonna simply replace it. For the time being we are storing gases here and we will probably need to figure out a gas management solution in one of the upcoming episodes. So let's see, we just need to replace the waste tank and okay, get inside. 51 degrees centigrade, that's actually a lot. I've just now noticed this and guys, I'm doing this in post-production, so yeah. Okay, we can actually put an oxide here, which should do Get two things. Low. If we dump the oxide, it will increase the amount of oxygen inside and it will drop the temperature by a small margin. So that actually helps us out a little bit. It's a temporary solution. It's by no means a fix. Okay, let's just refill the tank. Filter low. Air tank critical. Okay, we still have enough uh, oxygen in this, but we will need to think about recycling. Well, it's good to know, but I think we will be resolving that in the next episode. Maybe not in the next, but episode beside it. I really want to start making steel and resolve the power problem because we have multiple problems and things are not peachy, but... Uh, Ultimately, once we resolve the power problem by building a large battery and better solar cells, we will one, have one less problem to worry about. And then the next one will probably be atmospherics. So, hope you liked today's video and the next one will be posted in the top right corner as indicated by my avatar. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next one. This is Gromforks, signing off.